Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talking Money, coming back at you to tell you something about crypto. But before we do that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and as well, there's a bell out there. Very important you hit that one so you don't miss out on any of these updates. My people, I hope you have opened your heart to receive that 24 hours of blessing. That's a little thing we have going on over here. If you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate. Hit that subscribe. You can join on into this thing. Look, I have a lot lined up for you. A lot has happened in the past 24 hours. Of course, we take our little bit sabbatical to respect the Sabbath. But look at what's going on in these markets. I take 24 hours off me. You got well, what happened? Somebody crapped the bed. What happened here? But of course, look, if you're new to this channel, we really do focus on uh, uh, your ISO uh, 22 compliant, uh, excuse me, ISO 222 compliant cryptos as well. Usually your utility cryptos, really. Uh, but of course, again, if you are new to crypto, you have to understand whenever you have all of this, all right, all of this, you, you, if you're new, you probably think everybody just sold. No, in the crypto space right now, you have to understand that the overall price is woven in with Satoshis. I'm sure you know what Satoshis are. Bitcoin is being kind of like your gateway drug into crypto. So just with that being said, you can kind of gauge and see exactly the sentiment of most of the people in that market. So, for example, you have your Bitcoins down at 6%, but mind you, your Oasis network, let's just take a look at your Oasis, that's going to be down 10% on the day. So it's just a lot of variations that you have in the market, a lot of uh, different sentiments, of course. Of course, you know, you have diamond hands and lettuce hands out there, but mostly when you have people fearful, they tend to drop their bags. But I just want to show you this right here. Of course, also, I have to give you guys an update as well. We're going to be doing our streams. OK, we're going to be doing our three day format. So just dropping it right here. All right. We are doing our three way three day format. We have our Monday, Wednesday and Friday live streams. OK, so after this is released, just a couple hours after this, we will we will be uh, live streaming. So please tune in to those. Uh, but really, guys, as you see, the market is, you know, taking a bit of a dip. But again, if you are new to this channel, you understand these are huge buy opportunities, guys. I'm going to be talking about some huge partnerships. All right. And then we're going to close it out with something really good from our boy Quincy. But I have to drop this breaking news. Russia has defaulted on its foreign debt, y'all. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Now you have right here from the Digital Pound Foundation, Digital Pound Foundation. All right. They're, they're coming out straight out. OK, now this is from uh, Fabio Fabio Panetta, which is a the European Central Bank, one of the guys from there saying issuing CBDCs is likely to become a necessity to preserve access to public money in an increasingly digital economy. Basically, in layman's terms, long story short, it is inevitable we will be issuing CBDCs. It's becoming a necessity just so we could preserve this access so y'all can actually have a way so you can get to your money. Really interesting uh, narrative to be noticed there. Now, guys, this is huge, huge, huge news. OK, I mean, when I saw this thing, I almost, you know, fell out my chair. It was huge news. So I, I'm going to play this a little bit for you guys. I don't really want to get any anything bad on it, but I want you guys to know. Notice this right here. Notice what Wadspay put out about Algorand. Now, just to announce for you guys, all right, Wadspay, Algorand has partnered together, okay? So, again, just to give you guys a little bit of news, if you're new to this whole thing, Wadspay is what brought the XRP and XDC community together. A little bit of history. Like a lot of projects, of course, they start on the EVM. That's kind of where you have to start, and then you pretty much bridge off. And what Wadspay pretty much did, what they did, is they recognized how efficient the XDC network is and that it's ISO compliant for what it's going to be doing. Please do your own research. I'm not going to divulge too much into what uh, Wandspay does, but this this agreement already happened. So I just want you to understand that now they're going to be we're, we're definitely uh, for my algo people out there. We're definitely going to be seeing that connection actually happening. And of course, there's going to be pairs for it. OK, this this agreement is one thing on the business end, but on the side of us for the retail side, of course, you're going to be having more probably Wandspay algo pairs coming about. And of course, guys, as you know, algo is part of the chosen five. It's, it's that compliant. So what I want you guys to really see is this Algorand high performance, next generation ISO 222 and Sharia compliant blockchain with a roadmap of 56,000 transactions per second and near instant finality. Understand Sharia compliant, Sharia compliant. Very important for what Wadspay is trying to do in the Middle East. So look, they are uh, Algorand. Tweeted this one out. Wadspay has selected Algorand or uh, Wadspay has selected Algorand to power a digital asset and payment revolution for its network of partners across governments, 
financial institutions, and beyond. This includes integrating WansPay's digital wallet ecosystem with Algorand and much more. Guys, this is a little bit more detail, okay? Of course, you know, Yahoo Finance jumped on this, but it's coming out from Cision. WansPay selects Algorand to power a digital asset in payment revolution for its partner network of governments, financial institutions, and issuers, and beyond. Guys, let's step into this thing. While blockchain solutions are gaining awareness uh, and revelation and relevant as a technological means to solve legacy payment points, real world use case and implementations are still lagging behind. The WADS Pay team with uh, collective, which collectively brings over 250 years of experience from corporations including MasterCard, Visa, Swift, Ripple, and GE Capital, believe that by working with Algorand to implement its leading blockchain technology on WansPay's already in progress projects, they will be able to supercharge adoption in the payment space. Yo, you see what I mean here? That's why you have, you know, like like why why they want to um why they were including Ripple uh, in their tweets. Really important, guys. The near term scope for collaboration includes, but is not limited to, integrating WansPay's digital wallet ecosystem with Algorand's blockchain, exploring white label solutions focusing on real time. Uh, POS payments, wallet and e-commerce products for WansPay and its customers leveraging Algorand for remittances where licensed exchange houses or digital banks in various corridors are using WansPay's suit of suites, reinventing loyalty by, look, introducing tradable programs on both, look, permissioned and hybrid blockchain networks. For example, Algorand, XDC, uh, XDC Network, all those aiming at attracting coalition plays and and utilizing the Algorand Network for novel gaming and NFT projects. Guys, serious, serious stuff. WatchPay and Algorand speak the same language when it comes to payments. Our innovative approach to payments, loyalty programs, and interoperability between legacy and next generation payment ecosystems is completely synchronized. WatchPay is looking forward to adding value to Algorand by bringing years of our expertise in the payment and technology space while providing our partners with best in class solutions. Dude, and we just recently just announced how they just uh, had another uh, announcement for their Africa uh, sector. So come on, y'all. It's really good stuff. Uh, Mar Weko Bay, he tweeted this one out. Yesterday, people were screaming WansPay will be huge. Today, they're selling because they don't understand how big the Algorand partnership is. Like I said earlier, only few are going to make it. Seriously, man. Serious stuff. Uh, one of the WansPay people put this one out. Phew, as you guys see here, the cart going right over, right over to the moon on this Algorand thing. Really good stuff to see. Now, for my uh, Songbird XRP Flare people, look. Flair just dropped this one, okay? Really important stuff, all right? Look, question, when Flair answer, the team is aiming for July 4th, 2022 to be confirmed in mid-June, uh, in mid-June, subject to an audit. Now, I know how you're feeling. I know it's like freaking nothing burgers out there coming from Flair, nothing burgers out here from pretty much everything uh, about it. But look, trust me. All right. I'm going to be showing you guys just some of these key development milestones because it's really important. You see what's actually happening. All right. Of course, you guys know we recently Recently just covered how the state connector is live on Songbird, and that's a very, very uh, innovative mechanism. I'm not going to dive too deep into that, but very innovative for what uh, Flair wants to do to unlock value. But y'all, their catchphrase now is they want to connect everything, connect everything. Who else? Who else is quoting something like that? Quant people, I'm looking at you. All right. So before it was about unlocking value. Now what Flair is planning on doing is, um, is, uh, is this right here, guys, everything's connected. Now I know how mad you are. I know how mad you are. I'm showing you a Flair roadmap. Now look in this thing. I know that that kind of means something to different people. All right. I'll just say that. So just with it being said, truly, with it being said, this is where they plan on actually launching it. Will it happen? Uh, just look, being far in this crypto space, you have to realize you can't really just um, put your heart into too much. All right. That's that's the thing. You have a lot of this crypto space. Keeping these communities up is hopium and nothing burgers. You know what I mean? So I'm just showing you guys this and please just invest accordingly. But as you guys see here, there is a songbird roadmap. The state connector has been activated. They're going to be updating the consensus state connector client release, then an F asset, a launch, uh, which I believe that, you know, these are 
this is just a roadmap, guys. <laughs> this is just a roadmap. Now, I want you guys to see here. Look at this. This, this, this. Really important. When Flare launches, it will be a technologically advanced cross-chain interoper interoperability network that answers many of the issues inherent in this space today. It will enable a safer and properly decentralized cross-chain future. Nothing else we're aware of comes anywhere close. Now, of course, Flare Network is writing about this, but guys, if you've been in this space long enough, you know the delay and why everyone's been waiting for this, especially XRP holders. Um, it will enable a safer and proper, uh, properly decentralized cross-chain future. Now, as you know, interoperability is a huge word, a huge, huge word in crypto right now. So with Flare's open protocols, developers are given these tools to build an extensive uh, array of interoperability solutions. Flare is building three core interoperability products. One, F assets. Guys, as you know, um, F assets are, are pretty much going to be providing non-smart chain tokens with smart contract functionality on flare you get what i'm saying so bitcoin xrp lightning or uh, uh um uh, Litecoin, Doge, all those are going to have that smart contract uh, functionality. Even you can have F Algo will just be its other thing there because Algo already in itself can run uh, smart contracts. But Layer Cake Safe, genuinely uh, decentralized bridges between smart contract platforms, both to and from Flare. So Flare and, and Solana, also between third party chains, Ethereum and Solana, secured by Flare. Ooh, you see, Layer Cake enables the use of F assets on Flare as well as any chain integrated with flare via a layer cake bridge so see what i'm saying they're working on layer cake you got star bridge you got a lot of these interoperability bridges that are out there dazzle bridge that's another one relay safely relay any information including off-chain data between any set of chains secured by what the state connector this is what we've talked about guys so i'll definitely leave you guys a link this is really thick really thick uh moving forward right here for my xdc holders for my xdc holders clearly you guys see right here we're we're waiting everybody's on pins and needles it's all about april 13th april 13th andre's gonna drop this bomb and say we need to reschedule all right we need to need to reschedule the session as effective go live of the new service still requires some work so guys you know that new uh, announcement that everybody's pretty much speculating about uh, you know, it, it requires some more work. A bit more patience will pay off as we deliver a unique uh, proposition using the best in their respective space. I'll keep posted on new date. Very good stuff, guys. So keep uh, that in mind. Go ahead and give him a follow uh, so we can keep updated on that. Of course, from our guy Quincy, he had just dropped out that he had a bunch of these uh, XDC stickers. So uh, give him a follow. He might send you one. Uh, also, guys, so this is what we're going to be stepping into. All right. Stepping into it. All right. So I found this really interesting. He had dropped this uh, article uh, a little bit ago. But I, I, you know, looking into it, you can really see how exactly XDC maintains a vile, uh, 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 a vital uh, demand for the real world use case. So this, uh, this diagram i'm not sure if he made he probably did but this really shows you how xdc can really be utilized on the asset nft side fiat and as well d apps so just really quickly um as you know here, here live capital we just really focus on your real world use case with your iso compliant utility cryptos so just to really show you here for your assets xdc can buy assets on networks so bonds debts securities equities and it's all on the xrc 20 standard now i want to say this as well about andre casterman he believes he believes that the reason why xdc isn't on your tier one exchanges for example your binance or your coinbase's stuff is because they have to get used to the xrc 20 standard now you know i personally don't run exchanges i i do know that there's a lot of protocols and adjusting even for wallets to integrate onto your network you know they have to adjust so i can only imagine that exchanges have to do it but just really quickly guys seriously you know what xdc does there's so many different standards on this network but as you see here even for nft uh ownership and of course guys we're not just talking about pictures here we're talking about intellectual property and ownership even for a car or a house or anything you, you that's an nft can be used we're talking about exchanging ownership rights and as well d apps pay per ex, pay per execution of course you guys know what those are xdc can buy fiat on network for stability in value let's just take a look at uh, uh the, the young brother quinn 
cryptocurrencies, his writing here, uh, one way that cryptocurrency can derive their source value is from the cost of the network executions, be it a transaction sending or receiving the native currency or the execution of a smart contract with the consensus of the network. Now, guys, really quickly, really funny, you know, that he put that one there because what's the most valuable cryptocurrency right now that has smart contracts? Ethereum. And right now, clearly, you guys see. OK, and this is one way that he's saying it, but one way that a crypto derives its sources from the cost of uh, the cost of the network executions. OK, we're talking about near zero gas fees on XDC. The price of the crypto represents the amount in purchasing power users have to engage with the network while acting as capital to exchange assets on the network. The second way cryptos, uh, cryptocurrencies derive their value is from the applications that reside on them. All right. So understand that as well. Of course, you know, for my, um, for my, you know, holders, for my investors, you get what I mean? You want to uh, make sure that you're looking at, and really you want to be looking at a layer one that of course, uh, has your, uh, a layer one obviously has the smart contract capabilities, but of course has something about interoperability and as well as going to be about sustainability. Very important, you know, and you get all of those things with XDC. Uh, this demand for the currency is based on the continuously added smart contracts that improve the network with more features. So guys, of course, as you, as, as your innovative project or if your innovative layer one continues to grow, allow it to grow in the way that it will, especially in smart with smart contracts. A crypto also derives its demand from the demand of assets that may derive on the blockchain assets such as stocks, bonds, fiat currencies and other traditional finance instruments can have asset derivatives on the networks. Guys, that sentence right there is exactly where we're going into assets such as stocks, bonds, fiat, all of those different things are going to be digitized, tokenized. And it's about who has the most valuable network and as well, the most valuable network. How well will it participate? How well can it play with the others? You know, due to the decentralized network or decentralized nature of the blockchain, applications can scale globally without the need for additional parties for of uh, to facilitate trade. This means assets that get traded on these blockchains can have worldwide participation from anyone operating on the network as assets exchange and demand liquidity for those assets uh, to increase the demand for the crypto also increases. So guys, again, you see what I'm saying as assets exchange and demand uh, liquidity that price will continue to rise. And as we're seeing with trade tech, as we're seeing with a lot of the different changes that are happening behind the scenes, we're definitely going to be seeing the liquid. All those assets are going to be coming about onto the network. You get what I mean? So, of course, for my people that were like, you know, well, well, XTC Foundation, they care about retail. Of course they do. You know what I mean? But when we have... Um, you know, XDC NFT and then you have Andre Casterman, you have you have different uh hands that are utilizing this this open source technology so it's all good it's definitely all good uh, crypto cryptocurrencies derive their value from the ability to change data on a decentralized network these changes can be to exchange value manipulate information and run complex features in the form of smart contracts and d apps which provide functionality to users who demand these features and due to the decentralized nature of both the network and the engagement no party has any control over another party's uh use of the network. No one can shut down the network itself or the D apps on them while allowing for maximum participation and scalability to anyone simply by using the blockchain protocol. Guys, seriously, that's what that's what's going to change the world so much is because anybody, as long as you can learn and read a little bit, you can access a whole uh, stratosphere of knowledge and as well wealth. You get me? And that's really what we focus on here. But this is the last one for my XRP holders. Look, what we think our family sees when we speak about XRP, I have the solution. I'm here to help you. What they actually see, bro, you crazy. What are you talking about? And I know you can relate, <laughs> but I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and hit that bell. Very important. So you don't miss out on none of these updates. But yo, y'all already know what it is. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Mm -hmm.